Hey everyone, it's Abby. Today I wanted to make a Regency bonnet. I've been meaning to make one for a while to go with some of my Regency outfits, but I've been putting it off. <laughs> I recently got into making my Bridgerton dress though, and I knew I wanted a matching bonnet for outings. So that gave me the drive to finally get going on making one. Sadly this weekend is going to be in the hundreds degree wise, so I won't be going to the outing I was planning on, but I will use it eventually. <laughs> I'm starting with a modern hat I bought on Poshmark. I didn't want to start completely from scratch, but why worry about that when you can just edit a modern one? So let's get started. I start with removing the ribbon and chain that was already on the hat. I want to start out with the plain straw part. I clip the threads and remove the hot glued parts. The shape of the hat is almost right, but I want to remove the back portion so it sits flat against my head. I use a sharpie to mark where I want the brim to be, and I start to remove the stitching carefully on the brim section so I can reuse that part to finish off the brim when I cut it down. Now I cut into the straw at an angle to get the shape that I want, and remove the section of the brim in the back. I also removed a bit of the stitching because I wanted to move the brim in a bit at the sides to shape it a bit. I match up the sides and cut them to match so that they're symmetrical. I got a little too much thread removed on the one side, I'll just stitch it back up when I get to it. I got out my thick waxed thread. I figure I wanted it to be strong at least. You could also just use regular thread, I would imagine. I'm using a single thread and a needle. I anchor the thread and sew the bottom straw strip to the edge of the brim that I cut. I flip that over the edge and sew it again. This seals off my cut edge pretty nicely. And I trim the end off. Next I place the edge a bit inside the crown to shape the sides a bit and sew that in place. I sewed up the other side the same way, with the extra stitching because of the thread that came apart. Now I figure out how I want to decorate it. I love colors and flowers, and most of my outfits would benefit from pink and green in this bonnet, especially my Bridgerton dress. So I have an assortment of pink and green flowers, silk ribbon, and feathers to choose from. I've decided to use this sage green thick silk ribbon that I found at Joann's for the ribbon that goes around the bonnet and ties it in place. I cut a long piece that I already measured to make sure it would go around the bonnet and tie under my chin. I clip the ends at an angle. I fold in half and place a pin at the center. I fold the straw hat to find the center front, then I match the centers up and pin in place. I'm also going to add a few bows in the same ribbon on each side. I need to add some fabric to the inside of the brim. I've noticed Regency bonnets usually have a sheer white fabric here. I chose a sheer pink because why not? I've decided to attach it in pleats. I've seen this method on fashion plate art and I really enjoy the look. I pinned all the pleats going both directions from the center. 
wasn't exactly precise, as I was working with a limited fabric scrap piece from another project, but I had just enough. I hand sew along the edge of the brim to anchor the pleats in place. Now that the pleats are anchored to the brim, I need to pin the fabric to the inside of the band to keep it in place. I then hand sew it just inside the band. I had removed the outer ribbon for this part so that it will hide the stitching on the outside. With the fabric all stitched down, I trim around the brim of the bonnet. I also trim around the inside, leaving about half inch hanging. I will be covering all the raw edges. this light pink shirting that I got for gloves at Mood. I'll be using this to cover the inside of the bonnet. I press a good sized piece down inside the crown, placing my pin cushion to weigh it down as I pin it in place. I just kind of pin it where it seems to fit. I add a few folds here and there as needed. I don't need it to look particularly pretty. When I get to the band, I fold the raw edges under and pin to hide the raw edges of the darker pink pleated fabric, again adding folds where needed. I whip stitch the fabric in place along the band. I also stitched along the edge of the bonnet in the back off camera. I trimmed that fabric down. to pick the right color ribbon to hide all the raw edges along the brim. I think I like the green one best. I seal the edge of the ribbon with a lighter and I fold the half inch ribbon over the edge in the back and pin it in place. The edges are even on both sides. I start hand sewing the ribbon on. I make sure I'm sewing slowly and catching both sides so it hides the raw edges on the inside and looks pretty on the outside.
I want a bit of wire around the brim of the hat, so I get out my green floral wire from Joann's and clip a piece that's double the size of the brim. I twist it together so it becomes one piece. Now I will sew the ribbon along the brim of the bonnet, encasing the wire as I go. I measure nine and a half inch pieces of green silk ribbon and cut two for the bows on the sides. I fold the raw edge under and attach it with a whip stitch to the other side of the ribbon to make a circle. I flatten that out and make sure the seam is on the bottom. Fold in the middle, wrap the thread around it to keep it in place, and anchor it. I cut a small piece of ribbon that I wrap around the center of the bow and stitch it in place on the back, hiding raw edges. And there's a nice little bow. I sew that bow on the side of the bonnet. This also anchors the tie ribbon to the bonnet at the same time. I anchor the silk ribbon to the band right at the center so it won't move around. Off camera, I added a second bow to the other side. Now that the brim is finished, I can shape it a little with the wire on the inside. I don't really need much though. to figure out where to place the flowers. I'm testing a few different floral placements before I make a final decision. Now that I figure out how I want them to look, it's time to attach them. I clip the stems where needed and attach the lower pieces first. I'm just using hot glue to attach everything.
I test placement a bit and I go and hot glue more flowers in place. I really like the look of it. I decided I needed to add a nice green feather as well. It just slips in under the flowers so I can remove it if I want to use it for something else. I also glued the same set of flowers on the other side. I've seen bonnets with flowers only on one side, but I think the more the merrier. And there we have it, the completed Regency bonnet. Thank you for joining me today as I made my Regency bonnet. I'm really happy with how bright and colorful it is. I think it'll brighten up my plain dresses and match my bright dresses really well. I have my Bridgerton dress coming up. I'm very excited to finish it. I also want to make a matching reticule and a few other accessories to go along. So keep an eye out for those videos coming soon. If you liked this video and want to see more costume and sewing videos, remember to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Happy sewing! <clears throat> Beanie! Hello. <laughs> oh, poor Diana. <laughs>